One group not happy with the spending plan, the more than 8,000 home health workers who say they were promised a raise. You see, the money for that raise is not in this bipartisan spending bill. News 8's Kent Pierce, live in News 8 Control, with more on what that could mean for workers. Kent? Yeah, Keith, nothing good for those workers. And these are the folks who help the elderly and disabled stay in their own homes by helping them out of bed, into wheelchairs, feeding them, bathing them. Some are making as little as $10.50 an hour. They were told that would go up significantly, but that money is not in the budget. While lawmakers in Hartford are celebrating their bipartisan budget, one group says that budget represents a broken promise. Home health care workers say they were promised an increase in their minimum wage. Kara O'Dwyer currently makes $13.53 an hour. And what were you promised earlier this year? I was promised a raise to $14.75 that was supposed to be in effect already and a raise to $15 by April 2018. Instead, the bipartisan state budget offers no raise at all. Home health care workers were also promised workers' compensation. They don't have that right now, despite doing a very physical job. Well, I have to help with transfers in and out of a wheelchair, and most of the time, my client can't assist me, so it's all on my own strength and balance, and Sometimes it doesn't quite work out right. She says she has gotten injured on the job, but keeps working, both because her clients rely on her for daily necessities like eating and using the bathroom, but also because she can't afford to miss a day of work. Eliminating the new contract has left home health care workers with limited resources. Limited as far as which bills I can pay, whether I can afford to get back and forth to work, whether I can put food on the table, whether, you know, the basic necessities are taken care of. And she says even the small raise she was promised would make a big difference in her life. Without it, fewer people are going to want to go into that line of work, which she, she says is short-sighted because if the elderly and disabled end up in nursing homes, it actually costs the state a lot more money in the long run. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith. Ken, thank you. And to stay up to date on the state budget front, we invite you to download our free News 8 app. For your smartphone, it will also get you breaking news alerts 24-7.